combined gas law is a combination of Boyle's law, Gay-Lussac's law, and Charles law. So recall we have in Boyle's law we have initial pressure times initial volume equals final pressure times final volume. The pressure and volume are inversely proportional. While Gay-Lussac's law is initial pressure divided by initial temperature equals final pressure divided by final temperature. Whereas Charles' law is initial volume divided by initial temperature equals final volume divided by final temperature. So this is now the equation of the, the three combination of the combination of the three gas laws. Where all temperatures must be in Kelvin. So the general formula is P1 times B1 over T1 equals P2 times P2 over T2. So it will be easy for us to derive the equation for the unknown if we will have this equation by cross multiplying P1 times B1 times T2 equals P2 times P2 times T1. So this is the equation. B P2 is P1 times P1 times T2 divided by B2 times T1. So if T1 is the unknown, the equation is P1 times B1 times T2 divided by V2 divided by P2. So we have a problem here. A gas balloon has a volume of 103 liters. When the temperature is 65, so this is your initial volume, it is indicated. When the temperature, it is now your T1, is 65 degrees Celsius. And the pressure is 720 millimeters mercury. What will its volume be at 20 degrees Celsius, which is the final temperature, and 790 millimeters mercury? which is the final pressure. So, write the given and the unknown is V2. So, V2 is the unknown from the general equation. This is now the equation for the unknown V2. So, simply substitute all the data into this equation Make sure to cancel the units. Liter, oh no, not liters, Kelvin and Kelvin. And the resulting unit is liters. 81.4 liters. Okay, another problem. A sample of gas has a volume of 2.9 liters. So volume, this must be the initial volume. At a pressure of 5 atmosphere. So this must be the initial pressure. And a temperature of 50 degrees Celsius. This must be the initial temperature. What will be the temperature? So that means the unknown is temperature 2, the final. If the volume is decreased to 2.4 liters, so that means this is your V2. And the pressure is decreased to 3 atmosphere, therefore this is your P2. So this is the equation for T2. Now simply substitute the given 
to this equation and we have 3 atmosphere times 2.4 liters times 323 Kelvin divided by 5 atmosphere divided by 2.9 liters. So that means you have to cancel the units, 80 atmosphere, liters, cancel. And the resulting unit is Kelvin, 160 Kelvin. Another problem here, a gas has a volume of 17 liters at a temperature of 68 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 89 atmosphere. What will the pressure of the gas, so that means this is your P2, if the temperature is raised to 94, this must be your T2, and the volume is decreased to 12 liters, this must be your V2. So remember, your T1 must be in Kelvin, and T2 must be in Kelvin. So this is the equation for P2. Substitute all the given in the equation. And cancel the common unit, which is liters, liters, Kelvin, Kelvin. And the resulting unit is atmosphere. 89.0 times 17.0 times 367 divided by 12.0 divided by 341 equals 136 atmosphere. So this is your final